Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be talking about luxury shopping mistakes and I wanted to create this video for quite some time. I'm gonna be sharing my tips and I hope that you will find them interesting and useful. By the way guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below. Do subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style. I try to upload new content at least three times a week and please also consider checking out my other playlists. I posted quite a few videos about Cartier, Van Cleef and Rappels, Bulgari, Rolex, luxury tips and mistakes, Dior, jewelry, weekly vlogs, style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. Whenever something becomes popular on Instagram and YouTube, we see it everywhere and we get to feel like we need to have it in our collection. For example, a new color of Chanel classic flat bag or a new beautiful pair of shoes. But in reality, we don't really need those items and we will probably get tired of them after just a few months. It's important to take time to pause and think if you really need to have it in your collection. Will you really wear it as often as you think you might? If I realize that I'm not going to use item at least once a month, I don't want to add it anymore. And also I noticed if I just wait for a while and don't add the item to my wardrobe, I tend to fall out of love with it. I tend to even forget that I wanted to purchase it at the first place. And that brings us to the next mistake, not sticking to your wish list. There are so many gorgeous items out there and it's so easy to get distracted. Unless you have a list and you're really focused on adding specific items, you will end up buying random things. Having a wish list always reminds me to stay focused and avoid random purchases. Whenever you just see something new and shiny and want to add it, what you're doing in reality, you're taking the money that could be allocated on your wishlist item and you spend it on something else, which means you will have to start the process of saving for the item from scratch. And as a result, you will delay the purchase of the item that you wanted to buy for so long, the item that you love and you know that you'll be able to use as often as possible. For me, the best approach is delay the gratification, take my time, think about the items, compare to the items that I already have on my wish list, and ask myself, what do I prefer the most? That number one item or to go and buy something else because it's trendy and everybody else is buying it at the moment. And this is actually connected to another mistake that is called following the trends blindly. I used to make this mistake so many times whenever I would see something cool and trendy and I actually created a few videos featuring these items, for example, a Gucci belt bag or a Gucci loafers. I only loved these items because I saw so many pictures on Instagram and so many YouTube videos. I thought that I need to have these items in my collection, but in reality the fashion has changed. These items cost me a few thousand dollars, but guess what? I can no longer wear them because they are dated. If I want to sell them right now, I'll probably lose so much money because nobody wants them. I'm stuck with them. They occupy the space in my wardrobe and they make me feel guilty as well because I could have spent that money on something else that is more classic that I'll be able to keep in my wardrobe for the years to come and if I wanted to sell it they would be still relevant anytime. That's why the key approach for me is to buy only classics, something that is timeless, that doesn't go out of fashion and people don't know when you bought it. 
I actually don't have intent to keep shopping endlessly. I want to build my collection. For example, I completed my collection when it comes to shoes. I have everything that I need to have. I can style any outfit that I need to style. When it comes to bags, I feel quite happy as well. I have all the essential colors that I need to have. I would say that right now I'm pretty much focused on jewelry and I actually posted my wishlist video which I will link down for you guys in case you want to check it out. I feel like sticking to classics gives me an option. First of all, people will not know whenever I purchase this item, it could be one years old or it can be 10 years old. It would still look the same as long as I maintain the condition. The classic items will be always relevant and will always be in demand. Of course, as long as I'm careful with my things and I look after them, it's very important for me that all my things are in the pristine condition. I'm not planning to keep replacing them. I buy them to last me for decades to come. By the way guys, I previously posted a video about how I look after my bags and keep them looking like new. I shared some tips. I will link down this vlog in the description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. Another mistake is buying items on sale. Of course, if I'm looking for something specific and if this item goes on sale, great, I'm saving my money. However, in the past, I used to buy items just because they are on sale. Don't get me wrong, they were still cute, they looked nice, but I didn't really love them. I thought I'm just getting a bargain. I ended up not even wearing these items. I just cluttered my space. So now I only buy something that I really need to have. I even avoid the sales. If I don't need to buy another pair of shoes, clothes or anything else, I don't even bother. I don't even check the sales. Because think about it, shopping randomly like that takes money out of your savings account. It puts you further from buying the items that you really need or really want. That brings me to the next mistake, which is not making a budget. For example, every single year at the beginning of the year or even sometimes in December, I come up with a plan of my mandatory expenses, my mandatory investments, my travel expenses and my shopping, my fun expenses. And I set up a budget for me of how much I can spend and then I stick to it. Whenever I make a purchase, I go back to my spreadsheet and I update it. This helps me to stay responsible and not to burst my budget. Another mistake is to buy items on credit. And when I refer to credit, I don't imply to just go buy the item and pay the amount straight away within the months. No, I mean having a debt owing to the bank for this item for the months to come. You are also creating a dangerous habit of accumulating this debt. I would highly recommend just create a special fund in your bank account. You can even create a new bank account and you can slowly transfer money to that account and in the end you will end up saving and you can go and buy the item that you really want without using credit. Using credit card is great because you are creating your history which will make it easier for you to get a loan in the future there is a cash back different banks have different kind of percentages I would recommend to go and do some research compare different options for different credit cards but I would not buy the items that I can't afford to pay off straight away if I can't afford the item I don't need to have it in my wardrobe Another mistake is shopping for fun and I used to make this mistake so often. I talked about it in one of my videos and I will link it down for you guys in the description box below in case you want to check it out. But don't get me wrong, it's nice to go shop and buy some beautiful items from time to time. However, in my case, I used to shop every single week. I did that just to elevate my mood. It's fine to do it from time to time, but not all the time. And as a result, I ended up cluttering my place. 
I added so many unnecessary things that I didn't even reach for. Nowadays, I only go to the store whenever I need to buy something specific. For example, I had a t-shirt and it got destroyed. I need to go and I buy a specific one. I don't deviate from my initial targets and I just go and I buy whatever I need and I leave the shopping center. Shopping has become something that I need to do instead of killing my time. Another mistake is to buy something that others like instead of what you like. I made that mistake as well. For example, maybe about six or seven years ago, everybody used to buy jewelry in white gold. And even back then, I loved the yellow gold. But because nobody else around me bought it, I thought it's quite different. Maybe I would just stick with white gold because I would be like everybody else. Which is quite silly because now I'm not in love with any of those items that I bought. I mainly like jewelry in yellow gold. For example, you like Cartier Justin Clue bracelet, it's so beautiful, but it's quite expensive. And then you go to the store and you see a smaller version, a thin version, which is a lot more affordable. You don't really love it as much as the standard size and you just end up buying it because, well, it looks similar it's a lot more affordable. You will buy it, wear it, but your heart will not really love it. And in a few years, you will end up going to the store and buying the item that you really wanted to buy. But it's better to buy something that you really love and will end up wearing as much as possible for as long as possible than buying something temporarily and then replacing it with the item that you really wanted to buy. Because as an end result, you take out more savings from your bank account for these items than if you were to buy something that you really want to have. And the last but not the least is to buy items on occasion. And I used to make this mistake for so many years, it even became my habit. And it took me quite some time to get rid of this habit. Nowadays, I prefer to celebrate with my friends, with my family, going for dinner, or going on a holiday or if I'm stressed I prefer to exercise to do yoga go for a run or read a book to shift my attention somewhere else thank you for watching I hope that you like this video and found it interesting please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below do subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!